and welcome to my channel. You probably had a burrito taco before, but have you ever had a burrito burrito? Friend, if you haven't, you missing out. Come on and let me show you how to do it. Stay tuned because you do not want to miss this, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to need some chili guajillo, chili chipotle, and chili pula. Okay, you can find all this at your local grocery store. They do have this at Walmart. You can find it. But I brought mine from Bravo. So there they go. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove all of the seeds from them. It's just going to make it not bitter and it's going to also help it not be very spicy. But if you're the type that like your booty hole to burn because you want your food to be that spicy, then maybe let it burn, let it burn. You're going to go ahead and you're going to leave them seeds in there, okay? All right. And if you're cleaning them and while you're cleaning them, some of them happen to break. It's all right, friend. It's all right. It's okay. It's going to work out anyway because we're going to blend them. So it doesn't matter if they break. All right? Don't stress yourself out. You got this, friend. Remember, the food is not the boss of you. You is the boss of that food. I see people in my comments talking about, I want to make this, but I'm scared. Baby, you can't be scared. Don't let that food know that you're scared. You the boss of that food. That food need to be scared of you. <laughs> okay? All right. This is the meat that we're going to be using. Chuck roast boneless pot roast. I got mine from Publix. And you're going to go ahead and take your meat out and then you want to cut it up. You don't want it to be too big. You want it to be a little bit small. Okay? That's the only time in your life you're going to hear a girl say it's, it need to be a little bit small. <laughs> But no, for real, you want it to be a little bit small because the smaller you cut it, the faster it will cook. This meal already takes a lot of time to make and you don't want to add more cooking time if you don't need to, okay? So cut it into small pieces. Once my meat is done and cut, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cleaning my meat. And I know some of you guys do not like to clean your meat. You could just go ahead and fast forward this part. But for the people that um, like to clean your meat, all right, let's, this is for you. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to clean it with some lime juice, okay? We're going to take one lime. We're going to squeeze it on there. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to clean it. This is to sanitize it to make sure you don't have that outside smell. It's just something that you got to do, especially if you're from the Caribbean. You already know we don't play about this, baby, okay? And it's no shame to the people that don't want to do it, baby. I don't care. That's your food baby that's your business i ain't got nothing to do with that so after i'm done um cleaning it with the lime juice i did let it sit for approximately like five minutes then i went ahead and i rinsed it out okay and i did give it about two to three rinses okay then after that, I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to put a pot on the stove at high heat, 7-8. Then I went ahead, I put like one tablespoon of oil. The oil looked like that because this oil that was used before, and I'm just recycling it, baby. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's, that's, that's what we got to do, trying to save the environment. All right, then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the meat in there, you know, let it get a little seared. After that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some water. In total, I put... Seven and a half cups of water into my meat. And we're going to put a whole garlic clove thing like this. We're going to put that in there. Nothing's going to happen. It's going to be fine. Trust me. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a whole onion that you can cut up. I like to cut mine up so it could be all in there. And one whole tomato and one tablespoon of salt. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and let it um, come to a boil. Once it starts to come to a boil, all the impurities is going to come at the top like this. Mm -mm, baby, that don't even look good. Baby, I don't want that business. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to remove it. We're going to go ahead. We're going to remove it. You're gonna take all that you can't out if you can't get all of it baby that's that you know what that's that food business you the boss of that food and you know what you gotta short that baby you you think you're doing something but you ain't doing nothing because i'm still the boss if all of you don't want to come out then you just gonna have to stay but you still gonna be good okay so like i said just try to remove all of it that you can possibly remove and you're gonna dispose the um the impurities that you took out you're gonna take that out and you're gonna throw it away because baby you don't want that business you don't want nothing to do with that and this is how it looks when you're done then you're gonna go ahead you're going to take your lid and you're going to cover it and you're going to let it cook for one hour you ain't gotta bother it undisturbed leave it alone it's good it don't need you right now there you go right here after one hour of cooking on high heat seven eight 
it should look a little something like this, okay? Now, you see all the tomatoes and the onions and all that stuff? We're going to use that later. We're not going to dispose of that because, baby, we're going to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Very mindful. Very thoughtful. Very environmental. Very future. So then after that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a pot on the stove at low heat, like at five, okay? You don't want this to be too hot. You're going to put some of, your, um, some of your chilies on there. And you're just going to let your chilies, you know, get a little sear, I guess you could say. As soon as you could smell the chili in the air, you're going to go ahead. You're going to remove them. Okay? You don't want them to burn. If they burn, baby, go ahead and dust yourself up and try again. Because your whole food is going to taste a little burnt. Okay? So make sure your heat is not too high. You know, as soon as they get a little hot, as soon as you could smell the um, guajillo chili in the air, the chipotle in the air, every time we put one, whatever you smell it, then it's time to go and it's, it's ready. Okay? So so you see, I did that to all of my chilies, okay? In total, I use about 15 guajillo, I use about 15 pula, and I used about six chipotle, okay? Even if you don't have those exact numbers, it's still going to turn out great, friend. Have no fear. Trust me. You got this, baby. You got this. Then after that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to wash them. I knew you knew this was coming. We're going to go ahead. We're going to wash them rubber dub dub. We're going to make sure that they are clean because, baby, we don't know where they've been and who they've been with. I don't know where this chili's been, baby. It's just like when you have that man, you got to you gotta be safe and wash it because, baby, you don't know where he been. He said he only been with you. That's what his mouth like said. Like I tell my friends, don't bring home nothing. You can't wash off. That's why you wash it and you keep it safe. All right. Then after that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some water in there. We're going to put about three to four cups of water, and then we're going to let it boil. And once it comes to a boil, the chilies are going to get soft. You ain't got to even cook it for long, like maybe five minutes. As soon as your chilies are soft, they're good to go. You're going to go ahead. You're going to remove them off the stove, and you're going to put them into your blender. You might want to use a spoon to do this because while I'm using this spatula um, or the, whatever, the Tums, it can't get everything. So I did stop and ended up using a spoon, okay? All right, a spoon with holes in it. So you don't get all that, all that water. Not that it even matters. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove the garlic. And yes, I went ahead and I squeezed it out. And I got all the garlic right here. It's just cooked garlic, you guys. It's good to go. We're going to use that, okay? And then after that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take our tomato and we're going to cut it up. This is a whole new tomato. Yes, we're going to cut the whole tomato up because we're going to use that later on. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a whole onion and we're going to cut that up as well. And we're going to use that later on, okay? So for now, we're going to set them on the side. Next, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put that pot back on the stove at low heat again at like five, six. OK, and you're going to go ahead. You're going to put some fresh garlic cloves. You're going to put about five and you're going to go ahead. You're going to let them brown a little bit, let them cook a little bit. And then you're going to put them in your blender with the chilies. Then you're going to go ahead. You're going to put those um, tomatoes and those um, onions that you cut up into a pot and you're going to go ahead. You're going to mix it again. This is a high at low heat. I mean, five, six. You're going to mix it up. You're going to start smelling the onions in the air and the tomatoes in the air. You're going to let them brown a little bit. And baby, when they're done, you're going to go ahead. You're going to take them and you're going to put them in a blender with your um, chilies and your garlic. OK, then after that. You're going to go ahead, you're going to put your some of your spices on here. And you're going to put some thyme and you're going to put some cinnamon. You're going to put like a half a stick, a half an inch of cinnamon. You need to put this is going to take your food to another level, okay? And by you smoke, smoking your seasoning, it's going to take your food to another level. Baby, I'm trying to tell you, baby. You, If you was at the sky, you're going to be at the moon. Baby, If you, if, it's, it's like they tell you, you know how they tell you to reach for the, reach for the moon because if you fall, at least you fall on the stars. That's what you're doing with, with, with this, okay? Because, baby, if the people thought it tasted like the sky, it's going to taste like the moon because that's how good it's going to be, okay? Then we went ahead and we put some of these leaves. These are cooking leaves. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put two into our blender, and we're going to keep two later on. Bay leaves, that's what they're called. We're going to put these later on. I've seen so many people on Twitter talking about, Chipotle put leaves. They put leaves in my food, baby. Those are for cooking, okay? They are seasoning. Then we went ahead, we put one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and two tablespoons of chicken flavored bouillon, all right? And this, we're smoking our seasoning. Baby, if you have not tried this, you sleep on life. God gave you life and you went to sleep. Because that's, that's what you're doing if you ain't smoking your seasoning. Because it's going to take your food to another level, friend. I'm trying to tell you. So then I went ahead and I put one teaspoon of cumin. And I went ahead and I mixed all that together. And you're going to do the same thing as you've been doing. You're just going to wait until you smell the food in the air. You're going to smell that chicken flavor bouillon. You're going to smell the onion. You're going to smell the garlic, okay? And once you have smelled it, you could go ahead and remove them. And you're going to put that into the blender with your garlic, with your 
um, peppers with your onions, everything. And we're going to put some more garlic, the one that we squeeze. We're going to put a half an inch of um, ginger. It's going to take your food to another level. We're going to put one fourth cup of white distilled vinegar. Okay. And then this right here is the um, onions and the um the tomatoes that was cooked in the meat. And then this is the um, one cup of the juice from the meat that was cooked, okay? And then we're going to puree we that. be smooth, just like Tyrone was smooth when he talked you out your tax money and he told you he was going to flip it. And he was so smooth when he told that lie. That's how smooth we want this to be, okay? You don't have to strain if you don't want to, friend. If you don't strain, it's okay. It's going to be all right, okay? Nothing bad going to happen. It's going to be fine, okay? But if you want to do it, you can do it. So I decided to strain mine. So sometime when you're straining it, it could get a little bit thick. <laughs> it could a little thick like me so you're gonna go ahead you don't want it to be too thick just like baby I don't, I don't like being too thick too baby because when i get a little bit too big baby i'll I be going on a diet you don't want it to be too thick you're gonna go ahead you're gonna put some of that water from the chilies that you boiled so that it could get a little bit slim this is what we're gonna have once we're done we're gonna dispose of that and look at this look at our sauce it looks so good already but baby we're just getting started ain't even done yet we're gonna go ahead we're going to put our bay leaves remember the two bay leaves i told you to say we're gonna put our two bay leaves in there we're gonna put some um black peppercorn we're gonna put about one fourth teaspoon okay and then we're just gonna go ahead and do it like that and then we're also going to put one teaspoon of um adobo when i taste mine i felt like it needed some more seasoning so i did put one teaspoon of adobo do yours to taste if you feel like you don't need it baby, that, baby that's your business don't do it there we go that's the adobo we're gonna mix it in there make sure it's well incorporated into the sauce then we're gonna take our lid we're going to cover it and we're going to let it cook for one to two hours depending on the cut of your meat because mine my meat was cut so nicely i only had to cook it for one hour and it was so tender look at that meat baby look at that meat that thing looks so good that sauce looks so good that sauce saucing it's sausage ah! all right so i'm gonna show you how you know that your meat is ready and you can stop cooking it okay so you're gonna go ahead you're gonna take your meat and you're gonna see if it's tender look how easy that meat broke baby look at that look at that look at that look at that <laughs> that's how you know that the meat is good and it's tender and you could turn off your stove if it don't break like this baby if it's a little bit hard if it's a little bit a lot hard when you try to break it apart baby go ahead go ahead and um put let it let it cook some more it's just like when you've been in a relationship with a dude and he did too much to you he done cheated on you had a baby on you he done beat you up a couple times and you say you had to let him go but when you let him go it's kind of hard baby go ahead and get back with him you still a little bit slow and you need to let him break your heart a little bit more so just like that meat if it don't break apart easily go ahead and put it back on the stove because it need to cook a little bit longer but if you take it out and it break easily if you break up with him and you over him you ain't think about him no more then baby you ain't slow no more and you good to go <laughs> you don't gotta cook we're no gonna more go ahead, we're gonna grab some mozzarella cheese because that's the cheese that we're going to be using and you already know that it is better to shred your own cheese because it don't have no cellulose in there okay so we shred our own cheese then these are the tortillas that i'm using this is the grande big juicy tortillas we're gonna put some rice i did not show you how to make rice because baby i got two whole videos that show you how to make rice if you don't know how to make white rice why not baby you just don't want to so i ain't even gonna show you okay so but you could put white rice you could put yellow rice baby do what you want that's your food then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put the meat in there we're gonna be very generous okay don't nobody want nothing with a little bit of meat we like the things with a lot of meat big meat <laughs> Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to add some onions that I chopped up and some parsley that I chopped up like that. Who child? Then after that, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put that mozzarella cheese that we shredded earlier. We're going to be very generous, very mindful, very demure with the cheese, okay? And you could put whatever else you want on this. You could put um, av um avocado, you could put guac, you could put um Jesus toes if you want to, baby, that's your business. But this is, I'm making this for my man and this is what he likes, so this is what I put, Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold up that tortilla. We're going to wrap the tortilla, whatever you want to call it. We're going to make the burrito. And you guys, this part could be a little bit challenging, but you can do it. You got this. And I went ahead and I rolled mine. The first row, it did tear. That's normal because most of the time when people make burritos, when burritos are made, it's wrapped two times anyway. So it's okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do it like that. Then after that, we're going to just grab another tortilla and we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap it in the other tortilla. And baby, we good to go. Just like that it's gonna be easy easy peasy lemon squeezy and if you don't get on the first time 
baby, just keep trying. You got this. Like I told you, you is the boss of that food. That food is not the boss of you. What you say got to go. You paid your money and worked hard to make this food. What you mean you scared to make it? The, the food scared of you to make it. Friend, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. So, yes, here we go. My tortilla was, I was able to wrap it up very nicely. Boom, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to seal our tortilla to make sure that it's closed up and it ain't opening back up. So this right here is a pot we're going to put at the stove at heat like six, seven. We're going to put a little bit of oil and I got this oil just from the top of my sauce that I made, my barrel sauce, okay? Then after that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put the to um the burrito right there on the side, the last side that I rolled it on. And I'm just going to let it sit there for approximately two to three minutes, okay, until it seals. Then after I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to flip it on both ends so that I can make sure it's very sealed. I'm going to just go ahead and hold it like this for a little bit, for like one or two minutes to make sure that side is nice and sealed. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it and I'm going to put it back on the other side for it to seal. And if you want to make sure your stove is not too hot, okay, if it's too hot while you're doing this, just go ahead and turn the heat down a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put the mozzarella cheese that we shredded, the remainder of it. We're going to put it on the pot. Make sure you're doing this on a non-stick pot, pan, whatever you want to call it, because if you don't, Houston, we got a problem. Baby, you're going to be mad. You're going to be like, that bald-headed girl told me to do this on YouTube and look what I... Nah, baby. I told you you wasn't listening. You watched half the video, baby. That's your business. I ain't got nothing to do with that now. But make sure you put on a um, non-stick pot. And you're just going to go ahead, you're going to let that cheese melt, and you're going to go ahead, you're going to put that burrito in there, and you're going to go ahead and let that cheese go right on the burrito. Oh my goodness, this is going to make your burrito look so nice, baby, and it's going to make your burrito taste good as well, okay? So you're just going to go ahead, you're going to roll your burrito until you have gotten all that cheese on your burrito, okay? No cheese left behind, just like that. Next when we're done doing that, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our burrito, and we're going to put some of that barrel sauce on there. Yes, because this is a barrel burrito, so what you talking about, baby? We don't play. We're going to go ahead, we're going to put that all over there just so we can have some more of that sauce flavor. We can have some more of that barrel taste that we're looking for, okay? All right, and just like that, we're going to let it cook for a little bit, and baby... Baby, look at this beautiful burrito. Baby, don't play with it. Look at this burrito. This burrito was raised in a two-parent household, and they was rich. Plus, they never had no nanny. They ain't getting nothing but love and affection. Let's go ahead and give this beautiful burrito a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds. Yes, friend. Yes. Look at that cheese pull in that burrito. Baby, don't play with it, baby. Do not play with it. This burrito going to change your life, baby. I'm trying to tell you. If you was walking, run. If you was running, fly. If you were flying, disappear. Because, baby, that's how fast you need to move to go to the store to grab these items to make this burrito, baby. I'm trying to tell you. You sleep on life. Y'all, look at that. Look, man, stop playing with me, man. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Until next time.